Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera kepada murid-murid yang menghadiri program Teknik Menjawab Soalan SPM 2023 bagi subjek Bahasa Inggeris bersama Cikgu Joanna. Program ini merupakan program jaringan kolaboratif strategik YPC International College bersama Pejabat Pendidikan Daerah Hulu Langat. Anda bersama dengan saya, Cik Zulaika selaku pengerusi majlis pada hari ini. Bagi murid-murid yang sedang online, kalau boleh dengar suara saya dengan jelas, minta tolong respon di ruangan chat box. Baiklah, terima kasih atas respon adik-adik semua. Bersama-sama dengan kita pada hari ini adalah yang berusaha Encik Zai Azman bin Zainuddin Elias Helmi, Timbalan Sektor Pembelajaran Pejabat Pendidikan Daerah Hulu Langat serta pegawai-pegawai dari PPD Hulu Langat, Cikgu Joanna, Guru Cemerlang Bahasa Inggeris, Datuk Dr. Noel Robert, Pengetua YPC International College, Dr. Farah Robert, Pengarah Urusan YPC International College, Kaunselor Akademik YPC, seterusnya tetamu jemputan kita pada hari ini iaitu pelajar-pelajar SPM dari seluruh Malaysia. Terima kasih juga kepada ibu bapa dan guru-guru yang turut hadir pada malam ini. Baiklah, sebelum memulakan agenda utama kita, suka untuk saya ingatkan beberapa perkara terlebih dahulu. Pastikan mikrofon anda dalam mod senyap. Pinkan nama wakil yang akan berbicara sebentar lagi untuk melihat slide pembentangan. Pastikan adik-adik semua bersedia bersama buku catatan untuk mencatat isi-isi penting dan sebarang pertanyaan boleh terus bertanya di ruangan chat semasa sesi Q&A. Diingatkan juga kepada semua pelajar untuk tunggu sebentar setelah kelas tamat bagi mengisi kehadiran untuk tujuan sijil penyertaan. Bagi memulakan program kita pada hari ini, saya menjemput Miss Nasihah, pensyarah daripada YPC International College. Dengan segala hormatnya, dipersilakan. Hai, Assalamualaikum semua. Boleh dengar suara saya dengan jelas? Okay. Uh, uh, so, first of all, uh, Good evening and also Assalamualaikum untuk Tuan, Puan, pegawai uh, PPD kita dan juga untuk Cikgu Joanna, Datuk Noel Robert, Dr. Farah dan juga uh, kaunselor ibu bapa yang ada pada hari ini. Okay, uh, saya nak perkenalkan diri saya, saya ialah Miss Nasiha. Saya mengajar account di YPC International College. Okay, so today, uh, this evening, saya nak share Uh, tentang career path to be an accountant selepas adik-adik habis SPM nanti. So after SPM, uh, di YPC International College, uh, adik-adik boleh teruskan program asasi in accounting dan program asasi ini adalah selama satu tahun. Okay, so selepas satu tahun habis foundation in accounting, adik-adik akan sambung uh, degree in accounting and finance. So our degree in accounting and finance ini uh, didatangi dari UK uh, which our program is actually a collaboration dengan uh, Liverpool John Moss University. So if you were to google Liverpool John Moss University, uh, anda akan dapati LJMU ini adalah top 5 university in the world. So uh, it's a very well prestige uh, uh, university dan di mana kami uh, YPC International College uh, sangat berbangga untuk membawakan program ini kepada uh, student kita di Malaysia at a very affordable price so that you don't have to travel all the way to UK to get this degree. So you can also get this degree in Malaysia. Okay, uh, dan kita punya degree adalah uh, SCCA recognized where uh, Actually, uh, you don't have to take another nine papers. It's all exempted. So, boleh ambil lagi empat paper saja. Uh, sama seperti IPTA yang lain. So, this is also SCCA recognized. Tak perlu risau. Um, and then, if you want to, uh, for example, work overseas, it is very recognized as well. Uh, MIA recognized, SCCA, CIMA recognized. 
Okay, so if, kalau ada adik ada sebarang pertanyaan mengenai our program, kan uh, nak jadi accountant uh, tapi tak pasti apakah step seterusnya untuk menjadi accountant. So boleh screenshot this uh, poster dan ada nombor dekat dalam poster ni boleh tanyakan. Uh, dekat dalam chat box pun boleh tanya and kita punya counselor YPC yang ada pada malam ini mereka akan jawab segala pertanyaan. Macam mana nak daftar, apakah prosesnya, dokumen apa yang diperlukan uh, semua pun boleh tanya dekat dalam ni. Okay so seterusnya saya nak share uh, kita punya accounting program bila kita dah third year which is the final year kita akan lakukan, lakukan uh, internship program. So latihan industri, kita ada industrial partner. Our industrial partner is Grand Thornton. So Grand Thornton ni ialah uh, one of the fifth largest audit firm in Malaysia. Okay, one of the largest of uh, uh, fifth uh, largest audit firm in Malaysia where they provide audit, tax, advisory services to large firm in Malaysia and also public listed companies. Uh, so kalau kita dengar public listed companies tu maksudnya company yang sangat besar sebab dia tersenarai dekat dalam Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange. So this is our industrial partner where we, uh, YPC International College, would send our student to do their internship dekat Grand Thornton. Dia orang terdapat expose of the industry experience working. They will also get allowance doing their internship in Grand Thornton. Okay, uh, seterusnya. Uh, so this is uh, actually kita punya best accounting student uh, yang dipilih uh, oleh Grand Thornton. Okay, because our accounting student, kita tahu uh, accounting student uh, macam susah kan belajar. Uh, so kita nak reward student kita yang dah put all the effort where Grand Thornton will give cash price of RM1,000 to the best student. Okay, uh, untuk 2022 ada dua orang uh, student kita yang dapat RM1,000 seorang and then in 2023 ada seorang. Because we want to reward these students punya hardship, effort for being uh, the best student, manage to get that best result. Seterusnya. Oh, sekarang kita boleh lihat, okay, yang ada gambar ramai-ramai tu, those are our students who are currently doing that internship in Grand Thornton. Uh, so, maksudnya bila kita dah nak cari tempat latihan industri tu, uh, kita tak perlu risau sebab kita ada Grand Thornton to uh, be there and accept our students to complete one of the requirement to get the degree which is to finish the internship program. So, uh, student kita sekarang, menjalankan uh, latihan industri bersama Grand Thornton. Uh, and then yang gambar ada Dr. Farah dan Dato' Noel Robert tu, itu adalah Chun Yong. Chun Yong sekarang kerja di uh, Grand Thornton as assistant audit manager. So Chun Yong was uh, our uh, alumni, he was uh, our student and then he worked his way up now that he has become assistant audit manager. Hmm. Okay, ini adalah list kita punya alumni. Okay, uh, Dylan Yap, he's an associate with Ensan Yang. Ensan Yang ini adalah antara top five audit firm juga. Ensan uh, uh, Yang, uh, we also call it as EY. Uh, big four, kan? Uh, nama big four macam tu. And Joanne Lau is senior associate IT audit di KPMG. Malaysia. This is also another big four company of audit firm company. Uh, Savannah Cheng, uh, she's a associate, senior associate PwC Singapore. Uh, so that uh, you would, um, bila you ada LGMU certificate, you can actually work anywhere. Uh, you nak kerja Singapore, Thailand, Canada, Australia, uh, anywhere in the world because it is recognize. Uh, it will be an advantage because we see that oh you sebenarnya belajar UK certificate. Uh, and then Marisa Asfira is associate consultant PwC Malaysia and Rose Zahira is preferred relationship manager at CIMB. Uh, if you don't want to work at audit firm kan, uh, macam audit firm, oh takutnya audit firm boleh kerja sebagai uh, di bank, um, di kilang, uh, like Samsung you know, di, being there 
uh, finance consultant, being the accountant. Uh, and then the last one is Chun Yong. Uh, Chun Yong is a audit manager, the Grand Thornton, uh, Malaysia tadi. Okay, so if you, uh, any of the students or teacher would have any inquiry regarding uh, kita punya accounting program, uh, boleh salurkan pertanyaan kepada kita punya counselor dekat chat box juga. With that being said, saya nak mengalu-alukan Cikgu Joanna. Uh, Cikgu Joanna merupakan guru cermerlang bahasa Inggeris. Uh, sangat berpengalaman, 30 tahun dalam mengajar. Oh, that's a very long time. Dipersilakan Cikgu. Thank you. Okay, thank you Miss Nasiha. Alright. Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me clearly? Hello? Yes, okay. Okay, good. Alright. So, okay, so welcome to this short uh, discussion or short, what you say, I'm not going to teach you anything new because your SPM is like one month away. So, this is just a polishing part where I teach you the shortest way to get maximum marks for your SPM so you can score for your English, yeah? Okay. So, uh, before we start, like uh, the MC said just now, I'm Puan Joanna Johari. Okay, I'm teaching in SMK Sungai Besi. And I hope uh, that you can stay with me for the next two hours so you can get some tips or information about uh, what is going on and how to score okay, A plus for your English. I'm sure everyone want A plus, right, in all the subjects. Okay, so, uh, okay, before that, let me share... All right, um, all of you are using your laptop or PC, right? Okay, I'm sure you have your handphone. For those who have your handphone next to you, uh, please uh, follow me. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen first. I can't find my... Okay, this is my screen. I'm going to share first for a while, okay? All right, can you see my screen? Okay, go to your handphone Google uh, browser. Okay, just type class point okay caps yeah just type this okay and then enter okay you can find look at the first on the top here the first one press this okay then you can see this page hold on my uh, I think my internet, okay. So you can find this page, all right? Can you find this? Did you manage to find this page? Oh, for those who are using your um handphone to be online with me, don't do this, okay? Just for those who are using PC or laptop, then you can uh, try to do this, all right? Okay. All right, so hold on to that, okay, hold on to that, no worries. Okay, we're going to do, okay, not to worry if I want to open your lap, why you want to open your laptop? This is your, uh, this one, okay, it's for your handphone. You are using your, your laptop now and then in your handphone, okay, you type this class point apps, then... Uh, why I want you to do this because you can download my point, my slide afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Let me go to. Uh, I'm stop. I'm going to stop sharing this. Okay. Please hold on to this because uh, they're asking for class code. I'm going to give you the class code. Hold on. Okay. Right. Let me start. Slideshow, okay. So, everyone, wait, hold on. Okay, something with wrong, something wrong with my line. Okay, now this is your class code 45057. 45 on top here, 45057. So, could you please type this class code? Okay, see, uh, there's one there, there's one, yeah, five. Come on, come on. I need more. Nine participants online. Okay. 23. I need more. Yes. I need more participants. There are 100 and 
62. So, 61. Right. So, please join in. So, you can download my slide. It's going to be easy. Right. Instead of you writing down everything, if you just download it, it's going to be easy. You can uh, go back and do your um, reference. Okay. Or you can study your revision with your friends. You can discuss. So, anyone with a problem? Okay. Can you hear me now? Because someone said my internet is not working. But I think my line is clear, quite clear. The class code is here. On top, look at my slide. Okay. 45057. 45057. Yes. Okay, that's the class code. Okay, so let's start. Now, as I said just, just now, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to teach you anything new, okay? But I'm going to polish whatever you have learned so you can use it for your SPM and to help you to get um, A+. Plus, yeah? We want A+. Plus. We are aiming for A+. Plus. Every one of you, I need you to focus and then please target, okay? Um, you know, to get, to achieve your A+. Plus. Everyone is capable of doing so. Okay, no worries. Okay, right. Okay, now, I, I've read your comment. You said um, yesterday was your English paper for your um, trial. No worries. You can use this skill for your actual SPM papers. Okay, no, not to worry. Okay, no worries at all. So, let's move on. Okay. Um, next, you can see that, okay, this is what uh, you need to know. All right. Everyone need to know that you have time limits okay you have time limits every one of you so you should know for the first part okay question one your email you are only right allowed to use 20 minutes 20 minutes and then for your guided writing 30 minutes and lastly your long the longest essay will give you 40 minutes so all together one hour and 30 minutes only Okay, so you have to follow the timing given because if you use more than the time limit here, the time in the time limit, you are not able to finish everything. Yeah, you will have problems to finish your last AC. Right, see, um, now can uh, I'm going to ask you how many of you um, managed before this in your exercise or your um, exam earlier, how many of you managed to get 20 marks for part one? Please uh, wait or show your hand, okay? Anyone managed to get 20 upon 20? Okay, one, I see one there. Who else? 19 only, okay. I'll, 13 to 15, okay. 19, okay. For those 17, 18. All right, we are going to Remedy this because for question one, you must be able to get 20 mark if you want your A+. Plus. Okay, no joke. Okay, you must get 20 marks for your uh, part one if you want your A+. Plus. Yeah, so let me show you how. All right, if I'm going too fast, please stop me. Yeah, please stop me and ask, uh, straight away ask yeah, what your problem. Okay, now, as I said, in order to write, okay, an essay, you need to learn this basic structure first. Sentence structure. You should know your sentence structure. Okay, you must know your sentence structure. The basic one. Now, for SPM, you have, you need to know four type of sentence structures. Yeah, only four. There are a lot more, okay, sentence structure, but for your SPM, because you have to remember you are focusing on your SPM, okay? So only four are required for you to um, master and understand clearly, all right? Okay, um, first we start with the simplest one, simple sentence, okay? This one everyone knows, I'm sure everyone knows. Simple sentence means a single independent clause, okay? So what is a clause? Now, in BM, you have subject and predicate. So same goes to english okay we have subject and predicate so for simple sentence the sentence must have one subject and one predicate okay for example i'm giving you the simplest example here i don't like dog 
Okay. Can anyone um, tell me where is the subject? What is the subject in this sentence? The first one, I don't like dogs. So can anyone show me? You can type. Okay. Let me see your answer. I very good. So all of you understand what is the subject? So the predicate. Can anyone show me? Okay. I is the subject. Correct. You know I is the subject now. Okay. This is the subject. So anyone? Predicate will be? Okay. Yes. Don't like dog. Okay. Don't like dog. It's the story about I. Okay. So I don't like dog. Very good. All of you shouldn't have a problem. Okay. I don't like dog. That is a simpler sentence. But if you say simple sentence mean short sentence, then you are wrong. Okay. Please look at example number three. Right. Uh, you don't have to copy this because uh, it's, it's given in the handouts given. Yeah, it's in the handout. So, don't have to copy this part. Or maybe you just simply download it, okay? In your class point apps, yeah? Alright. Okay. Look at sample number three. The old hotel opposite the bus station in the center of the town, it's probably going to be knocked down at the end of next year. Now, show me the um, subject. Where is the subject? Can anyone tell me the subject for this part? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Yes, very good. All of you got it. Okay. The answer will be, okay, the old hotel. Right? The old hotel. Okay. So, that is the... Right here, the old hotel. This will be the subject, okay? Right? And then, followed by, where is the predicate? Now, I'm going to, I want to see. Can you find the predicate? Can anyone show me the predicate? Now, I'm asking for a predicate. No, not the rest of the sentence, no. Not the rest of the sentence. What is the predicate? What What is going to happen to the old hotel? Uh, let me rephrase my question. What? No, not opposite the bus station. No, no, no. What is going to happen to the hotel? What will happen? Yes. Okay. For those who answer, going to be knocked down. So that is here. Going to be knocked down at the end of no need the end of the year. until here. This is the subject. Sorry, this is the predicate of the story to be knocked down. So what happened to the hotel is gonna be knocked down by the end of next year. If you want to uh, finish the sentence, yeah. Okay, going to be knocked down, right? Okay, so I'm sure it's gonna be very clear for you for, about this. No problem. Okay. Um. Now, um. Uh, let me read this. Okay. All right, so finish about simple sentence. Very easy, simple. Anyone can do it. Even your um, kindergarten's uh, brother or sister can answer this. Okay, now move on to the next one. This is compound sentence. It's slightly uh, easier than the next one, but still you need to know the diff to differentiate how to come up with your uh, compound sentence. Okay, the second one will be compound sentence. Okay. Now, look at the, the um, definition there. A compound sentence contain two independent clause that are joined by a coordinating conjunction. Now, I'm sure you have heard about conjunction before, right? So, but have you heard about coordinating conjunction? Okay, let me rephrase my question. How many of you... Show me your hand, okay, or give me the answer. How many of you have heard about coordinating conjunction before? Okay. I do, okay. Only two, the rest? Okay, now, no worries. For those who do not know about coordinating conjunction, no problem, okay? I'm just going to show you how to use it. That's all matter, right? Now. For the first one, okay, look at the um, explanation given. Two dependent clauses that are joined together by coordinating conjunction. Two independent clause means two simple sentence. 
Okay. How many subjects do you have? How many subjects and predicate do you have in two simple sentences? How many? How many? Listen carefully to my question. How many subjects and predicate do you have in a simple sorry uh in the in two independent clauses right i rephrase my question how many subject and predicate do you have for uh in a two in two dependent clauses independent clauses okay one each okay okay um all right some of you might be confused okay i know you understand the question so let's let's see um first let's have a look at um okay the first sentence okay look at the first sentence this is the first sentence i the first independent clause i don't like dog so my second sentence my sister doesn't like cat okay so that is the second sentence so let's look at the first one First simple sentence where you know the subject is here. Okay, so one subject here. One subject. Okay, one subject. I, all right. And then in this case, the subject is my sister. Okay, and then look at uh, the predicate. Don't like dog and this one doesn't like cat. So you have two. I mean, two um subject and two predicate okay all right any problem can you hear me okay all right so okay for those in the chat room here do not okay write anything um you know not related to English, okay? So we are having a serious discussion. So you have two subjects and two predicates, okay? No problem. And now your coordinating conjunction. Let's see here. How many coordinating conjunction that I have give you in this? Okay. You have four. I, I've given you four, okay? All right. So, the four coordinating conjunction I mentioned here, it's and, or, but, so. Okay, now this is not the only coordinating conjunction, but these four are the most popular one. You are going to use it over and over again in your essay. Itu saja. Bukannya tak ada lagi coordinating conjunction but these are the most popular one being used in your essay. Okay? You can't hear voice. Alright? Anybody who can't hear voice, make sure you are connected to your audio. Alright? Okay, then, look at the second example. The same goes also. This is your first coordinating sorry this is your first independent clause and then this is your second you can use a computer so again you okay the subject and then he also you can write on paper or you can use a computer so it's the same so again this is compound sentence you shouldn't have any problem doing this okay as i said just now please okay uh, don't uh, discuss on something else here about genocide and everything. No, I don't want to know that we are focusing on English. So please in your chat, in the chat box now, I don't want to see any anything unrelated to our focus today, your English paper. All right. Thank you. And then let's move on to the next one. I'm going a bit fast because I only have two hours. Okay. Actually, I can explain. I need more than two hours, but never mind. We'll try our best. Now, the next one, this is where a lot of you make problem or you are having problem when you are trying to construct your complex sentence. Yeah, complex sentence. Okay. It's a complex sentence. Same goes in BM. You have a complex. Okay. I get much more. All right. I complex. So, uh, all this, okay, uh, you have 
to master this if you want your A plus in your English paper. Yeah. Now let's look how to construct a complex sentence. Now, if you look at the description, it's very detailed. Okay. Uh, all right. It contains an independent clause plus one dependent clause. You are confused. Mumula independent and then now dependent. Okay. No worries. I will I will show it to you later on slowly. Okay. Then here you are using coordinating conjunction. This is it. Okay. Just now we have uh sorry, just now we have coordinating conjunction. Now we are talking about subordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunction. So these are the two conjunctions that you learned today. First, coordinate, uh, co uh, coordinating conjunction. And then the second one is subordinating conjunction. All right. Okay. So again, here I'll show you only six. Okay. The most popular one. There are a lot more of subordinating conjunction in English. But for your level, SPM. By doing this for, it's like good enough because this is the most popular one being used. Okay, don't go back to uh, your school and inform them that, oh, okay, a teacher, you got it wrong. There's only six coordinating, uh, subordinating conjunction. No, there are more subordinating conjunction, but these are the most popular one being used in your writing. Okay, so that's why I focus, I highlight only these four. Okay. Now, let me see who's online. Okay, I want to see who's online. Okay, I want to see the student. Okay. Very good, Jivashini. Uh, okay, even though she, you're going to celebrate your um, Deepavali and then you're still here. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, can I have... Uh, why do you put your name like this? Uh, I know. Can I have I know? I know. Could you please on your speaker? I know Sumaya. Are you there? Hello. I need to uh you I need you to switch on your mic because I want to have a conversation with you. Hello, I know. Are you there? Cannot open mic. Allah, why? I need to talk to someone. Can I have uh wait, wait, wait. Someone else. Any volunteer who wants to Mm, speak to me. Can I have um Dalil Nur Nubhan? Dalil, are you there? Oh, host. All right. Um, I think I need the um. Who's the host just now? Could could you please unmute them for a while? Okay, because I need to do this. Um, you know, conversation practice with them. The host, please. I need help. Hello, host. All right. Can someone uh unmute for a while? Just for a while. Then, just give me five minutes, and then you can um uh, mute the mic for everyone present. I need to communicate with them. Well, okay, I'm I'm not going to wait for them, okay, because oh okay, I will unmute. Thank you. Okay, let me unmute. Can I have Dalil? Yay! No. Why give me all this short form, short form? Okay. Okay. Aisha Safia. Are you there, Aisha, Safia? Uh, who are, uh, Fatima. So Fatima, okay, yes. Fatima, I can share you dulu, Fatima. Uh, Fatima kat mana, Fatima? <laughs> can you unmute your mic, Fatima? Because I, it's quite difficult for me to search for your name here. Because there's... <laughs> you can, that's why I need to find Fatima. How to find Fatima in this? Uh, because I have hundred and okay, hundred something participant. I can't find your name, Fatima. Okay, 
Okay, never mind. Uh, can I have uh, Nor uh, Roshila? Nor Roshila, okay, are you there? I'm unmuting you, no? I can't unmute you. Okay, never mind. We are not going to to waste time on this. If if not if it's not working, then it's okay. If the mic not working, then it's okay. No worries, no worries, no worries. Okay, I don't want to, uh, you know, disturb this. I roll. Okay, participant hundred seventy now. Okay, we have. Can I have? Okay, random, random, random search. Okay, can I have Afik? Afik pun tak boleh unmute. Semua orang tak boleh. Alright. Okay, never mind. We are not going to use any of this. Okay. Alright, never mind. Okay. Let's get back to this. Get serious now. Okay. Alright. Talking about complex sentence. Uh, okay. Alright. When we talk about complex sentence, you need to know there are two parts of the sentence. The first part part will be independent clause which means your simple sentence yeah and the second part this is where your problem will come okay the second part is called dependent clause sorry dependent clause okay now uh, dependent clause mean okay if you want to write this down you are you you can write down okay it's a part of sentence that doesn't make sense on its own yeah part of sentence that doesn't make sense on its own Okay, dependent clause will always need an independent clause to give it sense. Okay, maksudnya, right? Bahagian ayat yang dependent clause ni, dia always per perlukan ayat kat depan dia to make it understandable, untuk memahamkan the whole context. Okay, confused, confused. Okay, I know you are confused. Relax, okay? Now, let's look at the first uh, example here. Okay, now, can you show me where it's the... Sorry, can you show me the first... Independent clause, the simple sentence here. Okay, just if you want to type, you can type. Okay, where is the you not n you not satu independent clause? So in okay, so let's see. You said I yes, good. That's the thing. I don't like dog. This is your independent clause. Means that when someone say I don't like dogs, you understand. It's clear. Okay, that someone, that person doesn't like dog. Okay, all right. Now, the dependent clause, okay, dependent clause is here. Bark at me when I go past. So that, this is your dependent clause. Okay, dependent clause. Right, dependent clause. This is it. Bark at me when I go past. Okay. So now let's see, okay, just imagine, just imagine, okay, if someone speak to you saying, bark at me when I go past, can you understand that? Are you able to understand? Tiba-tiba je, someone, okay, say to you, all right, bark at me when I go past, okay, who say yes? Is that why you say yes? Do you understand? Tiba-tiba orang cakap bark at me when I go past. Is that you said yes? Okay, tell me why. Is that just imagine one day? Okay, I met you the cut. Okay, maybe KLCC. Okay, and then I said hi. Is that okay? Um, and then you will say okay, hi teacher. Okay, is that I have a a secret to tell you, and my secret is bark at me when I go past okay bark at me when i go past so nobody do you understand what i'm saying tiba-tiba rahsia saya right bark at me when i go past so definitely you won't understand right okay so that's why you need to combine these two part of sentence this is the dependent clause okay and then you combine using that. See? That ada kat sini, that. Okay. You ambil that. So, I don't like dogs that bark at me when I go past. Okay. I don't like dogs that bark at me when I go past. So, 
then only this sentence makes sense. Okay, so why is this important? Kenapa ni penting? Because, okay, this is by having your complex sentence in your essay, then only, okay, you can get your A+. Plus. Without your complex sentence, don't dream to have your A+, plus, okay? You can't even get maybe A-, minus, most probably, okay? But not A+. Plus. If you want your A and your A+, plus, you should be able to write complex sentence in your AC. So that's how you want to get your A+. Plus. That's why I'm teaching you about complex sentence. I'm sure your teacher have taught you about this, but, okay, this is very important. I'm going to give it a highlight because this is important in order if you want Okay, if you want, okay, to get your A+. Plus, all right? Okay, any questions before we move on to the, to the next? Uh, let me see. Okay. Oh, uh, one question. Uh, yeah, even though it's yes, even though, although it's a it's, uh, coordinating conjunction. No problem. Sorry, subordinating conjunction. Yeah? Even though it's also a subordinated conjunction. As I mentioned just now, this is the mere six. I bagi six ni yang popular, right? Okay. So, I've answered your question. Oh, okay. One question from uh, Riv D. Okay, Effendi. Uh, is it suitable to use complex sentence at part one? Okay, now. Uh, your teacher might... Uh, disagree with me but for me for part one no need for you to spend a lot of effort a lot of time to write a complex sentence i will show you when you must use complex sentence yeah all right okay okay so can we move on to the next one okay complex sentence need there are certain times where uh, it's suitable for you to use uh, complex sentence okay it's going to show okay this is good okay and then you can get your um, higher mark for language i will show you later on okay then the next one okay something wrong with this okay, okay the last type of sentence that we need to know it's compound complex sentence it's where you combine compound sentence with complex sentence yeah compound sentence with complex sentence okay so that is uh right that is what okay now com compound complex sentence combining okay compound sentence and your complex sentence so how many sentences do you have in your compound sentence okay all right so Compound, okay, compound sentence, you have two, com, uh, okay, two sentences here, okay, one, okay, two, okay, now, this part, it's going to be your dependent clause, okay, so, the first one must contain three, all right, three or more, but here you have, let's check, you have one, you have two, you have three, so, this is a compound complex sentence yeah you are the right more clauses all right three or more it can be more but usually the easiest uh, compound compound complex sentence is this okay three clauses two will be your independent clause and one will be dependent clause okay now let's look at this I'm going to erase this okay so you can see clearly all right uh Look at the sentence. I don't like dogs and my sister doesn't like cat because I'm using subordinate conjunction. I use because here because they make a sneeze. Okay, now uh, the word they refer to refer to cats or dogs? Refer to cat or dog? Yes. Refer to cats. Okay, very good. Not both. No, you are wrong because if you say both, you are wrong because look here. I don't like dog. Habis. Orang dah faham. I don't like dog. Okay, that's it. And then, my sister doesn't like cats. Okay. Then, this symbol because they make her sneeze. Means the cat will make her sneeze, not the dog. Okay. 
I don't like dogs and my sister doesn't like cat because they because they make her sneeze. So they definitely refer to the cat, not the dog. Okay, my sister doesn't like cat because they make her sneeze. Okay, it's about the cat because it's a connector. Okay. All right, settle. Okay, now, do you need any further explanation on this type of sentences? We have four. If no, right, uh, you have to come out with your own let. Wait, let's see next. Okay, now you have to, you have five minutes. Okay, this is especially for those with your class point app. There are 96 of you in class point apps. Okay, so you, wait, hold on. Short answer, this is, okay. Okay, I have to restart activity. Okay, so this is for you. Yes, okay. Now, what you have to do is, you have to come out with the uh, sentences. Okay, you have, I want four sentences. The first one will be your simple sentence. Okay, and then the second one will be your Compound sentence, then followed by, okay, followed by a complex sentence. And the last one will be your compound complex sentence, right? Did you get me? Okay, first, I want you to come up with a simple sentence. And then you have compound sentence. And then you have a complex sentence. And last one is compound complex sentence. Okay, how can you join? You have to join class point apps. Then only you can type. You need to answer. You need to type in your answer. All right. Okay, you need to type in your answer. If you have your class point, uh, if you are in the class, class point app. Okay, so you can type your answer. So we can see your answer here. Doesn't matter. All right. So you have four minutes. Okay, it's stuck. It's stuck. Look at the time down here. Some something is wrong here. It's stuck. I don't know. Never mind. It's okay. No worries. Okay, so five minutes for you to come up with one simple, one compound, one complex, and one compound complex. Okay. So think carefully, right? Make it a simple thing, like for example, I don't like my friends, okay? I don't like my friend because something, he is uh, he, he is better than me, something like that, okay? Oh, two of you have given in the answer. No, borrow one sentence. I need more. I need one, all the four. This is only one, one, okay, never mind. I will... The rest of you will stop writing. Stop writing. I don't want one sentence. You have to type in all the four baru you send. Kalau you send macam ni, one by one. Salah. Okay. What is the question? You can't even remember the question. My question is, not my question. My uh, instruction is for you to come up with your own sentences. One simple, one complex, one compound and one compound complex okay one simple one compound one complex sentence and one compound complex okay now everyone stop writing because okay stop typing i want to reset first okay i want to reset let me close the submission first okay restart activity all right so you type in all your four sentences then only you send you press the send button okay Azli ni tak faham kenapa. Saya suruh you buat one simple sentence, one compound sentence, one complex sentence and one compound complex sentence. Okay, saya dah ajar empat jenis ayat tadi. So, now you do your own sentence. Buat ayat sendiri, okay, menggunakan all these four type of sentences. Don't tell me you do, you ada notes kan, saya dah bagi nota kan. So, use the notes, okay. Ni siapa yang hantar ni? Hafiz. I've told you, listen carefully. Type all the four. Tulis empat-empat sentence, baru you press the send button. So sekarang Hafiz tak boleh tulis apa-apa. Okay, because dia hantar. I brush my teeth every day. Okay, tak apa. It's okay. No problem. That's correct. Okay. 
right? I hope you can, uh, you know, right, start typing. Okay, you still have time. Oh, let me, okay, add, okay, yeah. Four minutes for you to write, okay? So, hope everyone can write. Okay, Saida, uh, tambahkan Saida. Okay, you can Hafiz, you can write, uh, you can type again your your response. Kita stop yang ni dah, yang ni dia macam tak betul sikit. Uh, something wrong with this timer. Okay, stop. Okay, tak boleh stop ke situ. Alright. Okay, now you have your five minutes. Okay, so any questions here? Okay. And thank you, Amira, for the explanation. I hope everyone understand. Okay, I know one simple sentence, one compound sentence, one complex sentence, and one compound complex sentence. Okay, still. So. Okay, do whatever you want. Since if you are not in the class, my class, my class point apps, then yeah, you can type. You can always type it in the comment. Right, I will read because this only um hundred candidates in my class point apps. Okay, there are one hundred and sixty eight um person online participant online. Okay, minus maybe um the lecturers and everyone else, the officers. Okay, maybe fifty one hundred and fifty. So I have, I have only one hundred and one uh, candidate in my class point apps. Okay. Right, two of you have submitted your uh, answer, okay. Okay, this is what I want, very good, okay. Just give it a try. I'm still here, no worries. Okay, good. But what only eight of you, Henning, you have two more minutes to finish up your... Questions. But what only... <coughs> Look at this. Chaotic. Huru hara, yes. Kelam kabut, okay, boleh. Huru hara pun boleh, boleh juga. Okay. All right, we have 17 answers here. Never mind, we can look at it. You have one more minute, okay? One more minute. Okay, 56 seconds, 55 seconds. Hurry up, everyone. There are 100 of you in my class point apps, and then there's only 20 who submitted the sentences. Please, I need more participants. 
Okay. Can you see this? I like book. Okay, I like book because it will help me to improve my reading skills. Okay. So, you have Zakaria. Why only two? I like book is your simple sentence. Okay. Then, what is the second sentence? Zakaria, please answer me. What is the second sentence? Mana Zakaria ni? Dah hilang. Okay. So, uh. What is this? What type of sentence is this? I like book because it will help me to improve my reading skill. Saya baru masuk tadi. Okay. So, tiba-tiba baru masuk. Okay. Now, this is uh, everyone else. Anyone else? Okay. Now, can you tell me what type of sentence is this? I like book because it will help me to improve my reading skills. What type of sentence is this? Any answer? Yes, very good, Fatima. And also Siti Norai. No, nah, could Noraiza. Okay. It's not compound. It's not compound. Okay. Definitely, it's not compound. Ini nak marah ya ni? This is a complex sentence. Siapa yang cakap this is a compound? Go back and check your sentence structure. Okay. Mari saya tunjukkan betul-betul. Besar-besar kat sini. Semua so, orang can have a look at it. Wait, okay. Tunggu sekejap. Hold on. Okay. Ni dah cukup besar. Answer by Zakaria. Okay. You tengok je kat sini. I like book. Okay. Ini adalah simple sentence. Setuju? Okay. Setuju ke tak? Siapa kata compound salah? Tengok. Tengok saya explain. Okay. Alright. This is your simple sentence. Okay. Alright. And then, ini apa? Conjunction ni, apa nama dia? This conjunction. Because is what conjunction? Because is what? Subordinating or coordinating? Tak ada siapa jawab. Okay. Subordinating, okay. Because. Check balik nota yang saya dah bagi, yang you dah download. Because adalah subordinating conjunction. Sebab lepas tu tiba-tiba you bayangkan ni ini adalah dependent this is your dependent clause tolong ya okay this is your dependent clause which mean ini okay does not make sense on its own okay tidak bermakna ayat ni tidak bermakna kalau you sebutkan yang tu saja it will Tiba-tiba, it will help me to improve my reading skill. Apa tu? Apa it tu? Okay. So, ini betul. Sebagai complex. So, the whole thing, we call it complex sentence. Okay. Faham ke tidak? Kenapa nama dia adalah complex sentence? Alright. So, this is a complex sentence. So, Zakaria... Please, yeah, uh, fahamkan yang ni sebab you perlu buat complex sentence in order to get your A plus. Okay. So, this is complex sentence. Okay. he Tiba-tiba awak bayangkan, tiba-tiba kawan awak cakap dekat awak, it will help me to improve my reading skill. Apa it tu? So, it here, macam tadi, refer to the book. Right. It is the book. Right. Clear? Right. So, let's choose the next one. Kita tengok. Uh, yang lain. Okay. Hilang short answer. Short answer. Kita pilih siapa. 
Lim. Okay, I have Lim here. Let's see. Lim. Lim. Okay. Danny La. Okay. Now, again, in order to write a good sentence, you must be aware of your surrounding. Danny, like or likes? Ada S ke tak ada? Singular or plural? Yes. Good, Fatima. This is likes. Here, you must have S here. Danny likes to eat noodles. Okay. Then, the second one is correct. Danny and his sister like to eat noodles. Okay. Danny and his sister like to eat noodles at Richie Restaurant. Settle. Okay. Clear. Complex sentence at Richie Restaurant. Okay. Walaupun dia tak ada uh, any of the uh, six tadi. Dia ada at. Okay. Then, the last one. Danny and his sister like to eat noodles at Richie Restaurant because the noodles is delicious. Okay. Ini compound complex. Okay. Alright. Okay. That's your complex sentence. Correct. Very good. Danny. Okay. You can have like a star here. There. Okay. Now next. We will see. Okay. Fatima. I love eating chocolates. Okay, good. I love eating chocolates, but my sister loves eating sushi. Yes, I love eating chocolates since it is tasty. This is a correct simple sentence because just imagine, tiba-tiba you ambil, tiba-tiba you tell your friend, it is tasty. You just tengok, apa yang tasty, right? They will ask, what tasty? Okay. Then the next one, compound complex. I love eating chocolates at my and my sister love eating sushi because it makes her happy. So eating sushi make make the sister happy. That's it. Correct. Very good, Fatima. And we have a star. Okay. One star. Okay. Next. Okay, Shazira. My brother loves watches. Okay, my brother loves watches and my sister. My brother. Satu tak banyak. My brother is a singular, yeah? Okay, so, so alright. Loves, okay, correct. Okay, and then, my brother, because it is fashionable, yes, very good. My brother loves watches and my sister loves hat because it looks beautiful on her. Yeah, wearing hats is beautiful. Okay, let's see. We are not going to look at this. Kita, I nak cari yang boys pula. Eh, where's the boys? Where's the boys? Boys, where are you? All right. Let's see. There's no voice. Oh, Izzat. Let's see, Izzat. I like playing with cat. Okay, I like playing with cat. Spelling, although spelling. Okay, my sister doesn't. Not don't, doesn't. Okay, I like playing cats. Okay, although my sister doesn't. Okay, I doesn't like cat. That bite me. Hardly. No, that bite me to go. Okay, that bite me. Okay. No need hardly. I like playing with cat and my sister doesn't okay, like it because she doesn't like them. Okay. Tak payah because kat sini, okay. Um, my sister like playing with cat and my... I like playing with cat and my sister does, doesn't like it because she doesn't like them. Okay. Alright. Okay, is that for... Okay, next. Okay, next answer will be. I I need one more. Panjangnya, kenapa ni? Okay, I tak minta banyak panjang ya. Okay, now we see here. Where's boys? No boys name here. Hmm. I think this is a boys name. Is it boy? Danny will go fishing. Okay. We will go fishing if it's not if it's not raining, not rains. Danny will go. I'm confused. Danny will go fishing. That's simple. We will go fishing if it's not raining. That is complex sentence already. Okay. Danny will go for fish. Will go fishing only for, but his brother doesn't. Okay. This is your compound. Danny will go fishing, but his brother doesn't. Okay, I'm so confused, Ekal. Betul kan ya? This is not correct, okay? But, but you managed to get your compound, complex sentence there. Alright. I think that's going to be the last one because we have to move on, okay? Any questions? Any last question before we... 
Any last question? No problem. Okay. Uh, Alif. Alif, your where is your sentence, Alif? Please prove it. There must be something. Alif, tak ada pun, I tak nampak. Never mind. We are going to move on to the next one. Okay. No questions? So, so then, good. I hope you understand. Okay. Wah, ni all the... Okay, now. This is where you need to focus. This is where you need to focus. Okay, let me see. Okay, just now it's just a note. Okay. The first thing that you need to know... Why use doesn't? Use doesn't because it's a subject verb agreement. Okay. Right? The sister, single. Okay. The sister is single. Right? Singular. So that's why you need to use doesn't. So, so you have to remember. Yeah? Don't just give, don't simply give me a sentence like she don't. No, she doesn't. Right. That is your basic grammar. Go, go back and check on that. All right. So here, okay, we are talking about the different type of essay that you need to know in your writing paper. Paper 2, yeah? Your writing paper. Okay. The first one will be your, the simplest one. It's your, something wrong with this. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Mouse eye lari kejap. Okay. So the first one, your email, yeah? Your email, okay? Then we have, next will be guided writing, part two. And then you have your part three, the longest essay that you need to write. You have to choose either article or review. And then report. And lastly, it's your narrative or story. Okay. Email guided and extended writing. Okay, that's you got that correct, right? No problem. So you can download this, yeah, in your class point app. Download up your copy, pun download because I've put here, see, around 80 words. All right now, most of you will write more than 80 words. It's okay, no mark will be deducted. All right, so if you write 80 to 100, then no problem. That should, shouldn't be a problem, yeah? Okay, but the time is only 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, okay? You have to look at that, okay? 16 to 20, sorry, 15 to 20 minutes. And then you can use one paragraph or, okay, I will show you later on. Okay, my advice, uh, separate your intro and then your content and then your conclusion, three paragraphs. Okay, one or three paragraph. Okay, three paragraph. Right. You use you should use simple and compound sentence. Like someone asked just now, I can't remember who asked just now. Uh, should should you use complex sentence? Maybe one if you want to use, but doesn't matter. It won't change anything because we are only looking at simple and compound sentences. If you are able, then very good. Yeah. Then followed by the second one will be guided writing. Your guided writing is actually an article. Yeah, article. Okay. You will be given um, 25 to 30 minutes to focus on discussion. And then you must have the title. When you, Whenever you are writing an article, regardless, sekarang dekat sekolah, your secondary school, or later on, if you further your studies in universities, you still have to write a title for your article. Yeah. Untuk article, Tajo is very important. So, you need a title and then you need to use five paragraph. Right? Tak kira lah panjang ke pendek, you are, okay, you are asked to write an essay using five paragraph. This is the minimum number of paragraph regardless whatever language you are using. You nak guna dalam BM pun sama, five paragraph, English, uh, French, okay, when you are writing an article or any other um, formal writing, you should have five paragraphs minimum. If you want to write more, it's okay, but my advice, okay, uh, hold on, I have a question. You don't have to count, okay. 
Okay. You you tak payah count one, two, three. No. Work smart. Yeah, work smart. Okay, so you choose the second sentence of your uh, essay. You just count that and then basically you plus minus one or two and then count how many lines you wrote. Okay, that, that's it. Just a brief estimation. No need for you to count one, two, three. No, 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 no. Okay, don't follow your tuition teacher by asking you to count. You are wasting your time. You should write. Okay, focus on your writing. Yeah, the word path. No need. Hello, guys. Fauzan, you are sitting for SPM examination. Okay, dia akan bagi buku jawapan. Right? No worries. Tak payah kau nak kira nak buatkan. No, no need for you to write lines. No. Logic akal, you are sitting for your SPM and they will provide you with the booklet. Buku jawapan. So it's all there. All the lines are there. No need for you to count or write. Okay? Or do uh, use a ruler to write. No, no need. No need. Yeah? Okay. Then let's go on. Okay, let's go into detail of this. Okay. I'm going to show you, okay, one way to ensure you get your 20 marks. All right? To get your 20 marks, yeah? For compulsory for you to get your 20 marks. Let's look. Okay, this is, right? This is, look at the questions, okay? This is the normal questions. Okay, something. Mm -hmm. All right. My God. Yeah. Okay. This question, you have looked at it and then it's quite easy. Every day, every uh, time you have English class. Okay. You can write that. All right. Okay. So look at the questions and then look at this words. S O T okay Q1 Q2 Q3 okay now if you follow if you follow my steps okay i can confirm you you can get your 20 marks so this is how it should be okay now let's see what is this s the first s is okay let me use uh, blue the first s is salutation I hope you can see my writing. Okay. All right. Salutation here. Make it simple. Hi, the name of the person. All right. And then O here mean, okay, option. So for this question, you will only forever, you will have four. Okay. Siapa yang suruh kira ni? Saya tak suruh kira ya. Please don't get me wrong. I never ask you to count your words, okay? Tolong, I repeat again, everyone, please. Do not count. Jangan buang masa kira satu-satu perkataan. No. Okay? Work smart. Saya cuma bagi contoh pengiraan kasar. Estimation. Kira satu baris, okay? And then kira berapa line you tulis. Itu saja bukannya kira 1 2 3 no. Don't waste your time. Okay? Jangan tiba kira balik balik dekat sekolah masing-masing and then you explain to your student your friends. No, it's wrong. I never ask you to count. No, don't waste your time. Right? Because time is against you in this paper. Masa tu tak cukup sangat-sangat. You have to focus on your um Aces, yeah. Okay, option here, we have uh, advice, okay. You have suggestion. Okay, you have recommendation. And one more, you will have uh, opinion, pendapat. Okay. Soalan akan bertanyakan tentang empat ini sahaja, right? And then task here will be your Tugasan, okay, it's your task. You must get, task ni mesti daripada soalan. It must come from the question. You jangan reka, don't ever think of creating your own task. Jangan reka sendiri task tu apa. And then Q1 is question 1, Q2 
question two, question three, and S will be your signature. Okay. Signature jangan sign macam ni. Orang tak faham. Write your name. Okay. Orang nampak nama I kat situ. Joanna. Right? Okay. So, if you have the questions, kejap. No question? Okay. So, let's see clearly. I will show you how to answer this. One by one. Okay. Alright. Now, this is... This is the, these notes are in your, uh, the notes I uh, gave to you. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. So. Okay. Tengok format yang saya bagi. Okay. Now. Issue dia. Okay. There are so many students. Okay. Water park. Apa ni? Alright. So get back to this. Everyone, please focus on what I'm saying. Don't discuss in the chat box. Talking about park and water park. I will address that later. Focus on this, okay? This is how you answer. This is your S. Hi, Harry. Where did you get this, Harry? Okay. This name must come from here. You cannot create your own name. Even though you don't like the word Harry, sorry, you don't like the name Harry, you tak suka nama Harry tu, you must use it because it's in the questions. Yeah? Okay. Then, usually, how you start your email. Most of you will say, uh, Hi, how are you? I hope you are doing fine. What about your mother? Is she okay? What about your sister? No. No need to spend so much time, okay, writing those Tak perlu, tak perlu. No need. Okay. Do as what I have here. I hope you are doing great. Cukup. Then, what is the option here? What is the option here? The question wants you to write what? What is the option? I would love to give you my what? Tengok dekat soalan. What is the option? Okay. Tengok dekat sini. Alright. Dia nak what? Okay, here they said. Okay, I'm asking a question, guys. Okay, I'm asking a question. Why are you still talking about all this nonsense, okay? Right, opinion. It's written here, okay? Ada dekat sini. There, opinion. An easy task, just... You pindahkan this opinion to here. Right? Opinion. Just move it here. This. Okay. You just move it here. See? Opinion. No need for you to find new words. No need for you to find new words. Tak payah cari idea nak kira apa pun. Opinion dah ada. Then, look at the task. Now, the task wants you. This is the task. Okay. It wants you to. What? Where is the task here? What is the task in this question? Anyone can tell me the task? Now I'm asking for task. It's not shopping. Okay. No. Bukan kind of shopping. No, guys, look at the question carefully, okay? What is the task here? Yes, about where modern teenager go shopping the most. Okay, please. Okay, take it, things serious. About where modern teenagers go shopping the most. This one, you just move it here. Okay. I would love to give you my opinion about where modern teenagers go shopping the most. Okay. This is your introduction. Okay, for those who are... Just now, I read in the in the chat box, you asked about, uh, can you start your... I dah cakap, you ikut cara I boleh tak? Tak payah bagi idea, or can I start with this? No. You just follow this. Okay? Please, guys, okay, listen to my instruction. 
Kalau you nak your 20 marks Ikut cara saya Why? Because I'm the examiner I'm the chief examiner Okay So you have to Follow whatever I'm giving you Tolonglah If you want your 20 marks Right For those yang dapat 15, 16, 17 Please look at this This is how you are going to get your 20 marks for your question one, for your email. Okay, so it's here. In the first paragraph, nothing much, tak ada apa dah. You tak payah gunakan perkataan baru pun. It's all from the question. So you work smart. Tak payah change apa-apa. Hi Harry, I hope you are doing great. I would love to give you my opinion about where modern teenagers go shopping the most. Okay, then. What is the question one? What is question one in this in these uh, questions? Question one is here. Where would you go shopping? Okay. Where would you go shopping the most? Okay. And then they give you choice. Spot shop, clothes shop, electronic shop, or somewhere else. Or somewhere else. Okay. So that's the question. Now, where, where would you go shopping the most? They give you choice where, okay? Then you choose, okay? No need for you to choose number four somewhere else because you have to think. Nak pergi mana shopping? You have to think. Jangan buang masa, 20 minutes. Okay. Dia tak cakap shopping mall pun. Tak ada shopping mall kat sini. Boleh tak listen to my questions? Okay. Could you please listen, look at the question and read and read it carefully and listen to my instruction? Ini yang dapat macam-macam to the market. Dekat mana, dekat celah mana you nampak market dalam soalan ni. Tak ada langsung. First question, ask you about where would you go shopping the most. Then dia bagi pilihan. Spot shop, clothes shop, electronic shop and somewhere else. Okay, you nak bubur market kat situ? Bubur lah. Tak payah buang masa lah. Listen, listen. Okay, look. At the questions. Okay, so you choose. Here, choose only one. You don't have to choose like three or four. Uh, thinking that, oh, mungkin uh, kalau buat dua and then you choose two, you get more marks. No. Alright. So, for you, it's up to you. You can answer any of these. Okay, you can choose sport shop. You can choose clothes shop or electronic shop. It's up to you. Doesn't matter. Okay. Then for these questions, I will choose... Um, right, I, for my question, I will choose shopping. I like to go shopping at electronic and electronic shop. Okay, settle. First question telah dijawab, settle. Then question two. Now, look at question two carefully. In question two, there are two part of the question. Bahagian pertama is, tell me what kind of shop, bagi tahu jenis kedai and what would you like to buy dan nak beli apa. Okay. So, ada dua bahagian. You need to answer both. You kena jawab dua-dua bahagian because kalau you tak jawab dua-dua bahagian, okay, markah akan dipotong. Because you are not answering the questions. Yeah, you are not answering the question. Okay. Yeah, if you boys, you want to choose sport shop, doesn't matter. Tak ada masalah. This is your own choice. You can choose anything from the three. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, if you want to choose a sport shop or a clothes shop, doesn't matter. Right. Okay. So, you just need to uh, choose which one and then just put it in the answer. Right. See? How to answer number two. Okay. Tell me what kind of shop. First, they want to know what kind of shop. Okay. I'm talking about... Uh, first, I said I want to choose, uh, I want to go uh, shopping, electronic shop, okay. Now the hilang, okay, sorry. Okay, the just now? Okay, there. I like to go shopping at an electronic shop and then the second part, okay. Second question. My favorite is a gadget shop selling variety of gadget, especially something related to to computer okay something related to computer yeah i bagi tahu saya suka kedai elektronik yang menjual peralatan komputer okay then tak habis lagi question tu belum habis the second part what would you like to buy 
I nak beli apa? I nak pergi apa? Nak beli apa dekat kedai komputer ni? Okay. Alright. Then what I want to what I want to buy there? I want to buy okay, a laptop. I would love to buy the latest laptop that is complete with touch screen. So this is what I want. So I have answered question two. Settle. Two part. Dua bahagian uh, soalan tu saya dah habis jawab. Okay. And then the last one. What would you like to buy? Okay. Sorry. I. Uh, there is a second part of second question. The third question will be. What is. Why is it important? Kenapa? Apa yang I nak beli ni important. So, for me, alright, it is important because, okay, it is important to me because I am an art student who love doing sketches whenever I have an inspiration. Maksudnya dia boleh buka dia punya laptop and then, right, and do my sketch. Okay, right, okay. So, so if you choose spot shop, for example, okay, um, I like to go uh, shopping at uh, at a, in a sport shop. Okay, why my favorite? Okay, what type? What type of a sport shop? Okay, shop a uh, sport shop that's that's uh, selling ski. Uh, no, that's selling tennis product. Okay, mungkin because you love tennis. Okay, you like to play tennis. Then, uh, what would you like to uh, buy there? Okay, I would love to get the latest tennis racket. Okay. Uh, for my next tournament, something like that. So it's up to you. You choose. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can. It can be badminton. Doesn't matter, right? First, you mention the sport shop, and then what type of shop? Okay. So, uh, you want to go to the badminton shop, okay, or shop that sport shop that sells badminton uh, product, okay, because you want to practice, uh, for your tournaments, for example. Okay. So, this. These are the, this is the essay that will give you 20 mark easily. Okay, 20 mark easily. Okay, this is how you write your email. Okay, if you want your A+. All right? Okay, now let's look at the next, next example. What's the time now? It's already 9.30. Any questions regarding this? Okay. Yes, Alif. Nazim, hmm. you raise your hand for what? You need to ask question, is it? Then what's your question? So far, so good, okay? No, right. Then let's look at this. Okay. Okay. Why I live need to wait for you for a second? You want to ask any, any question, anything? Idioms, okay. Now. No need for you to write an idiom. I dah cakap. Dia minta yang simple. Why make things difficult? So, I know some some students who think they are good. Okay. Dia suka nak bagi complicated. For first question, tak payah nak fikir idiom siapa nak bubur. No need. Right? No need. You just follow whatever the question one. Dia nak macam tu. You want to put idiom with question two and question three. You can put anything. Okay. Can I use CD? What is CD? What do you mean by can I use CD? What do you mean by CD? Okay. Oh, you mean the short form. CD, is it? Okay. Um, I don't advise you to use CD, but actually it shouldn't be a problem if you because you don't know the compact disc. CD means compact disc, okay? Ya, yeah, betul. Tak ada panjang-panjang. Okay. Saya tak faham kenapa. Uh, no, the thing is, bukan you saja. I mean, even my students, they usually want to give a lot of input in question one. Tak payah. Question one is simple. So, they ask simple question. You straight away, you answer simply. Okay, then only you. You can get 20 marks. Tak payah. You tengok macam ni. Okay, you akan dapat 20 markah. Tak ada masalah pun. Right? Tak payah nak complicated panjang-panjang. For question one. You want to do example, okay. All right, if you have time, because you have to remember, this is for 15 to 20 minutes only. 15 to 20 minutes only, okay. 
All right. So you have to remember that. Don't waste so much time. Okay. All right. You you elaborate a part of it, not all. See, like this. I like to go shopping at an electronic shop. Then the next question I elaborate. My favorite is a gadget shop selling variety of gadgets, especially something related to computer. I have a elaboration at the I would love to buy the latest laptop that is complete with touch screen. Okay, it is important to me because I am an art student who loves doing sketches whenever I have an inspiration. So, itu sahaja. Then, you can get your 20 mark easily. Okay. Right, then let's look at the next sample, the next example for this. Okay, this is question two. All right, something, uh, okay. So, look at this question now. Okay. Right, look at this question. How are we going to answer this? Look at it. Alright, I don't know. Maybe my voice is not clear to you. Mungkin ada yang tak dengar dengan clear my voice. I dah cakap, this is an email question. You just follow whatever I've given you. This, okay, this layout, okay. Use this. Don't be over ambitious. Jangan rasa macam bagus sangat. You need to spend too much time here. No need for you to do that. Work smart. Benda yang mudah, dia nak jawapan yang mudah, mudah. Right? Uh, kalau yang susah tunggu question 3, then you can answer the difficult part. Okay, now, here. Look at the question. So, again, what is the S? I'm going to ask you what is S here. Hi. Hi who? Hi Arun. Very good. Hi Arun. Okay, this is the name. Oh, can't see clearly. Sorry. Change color. Okay. Hi Arun. Okay. As simple as that. Saya cakap tak payah. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. No. Simple. I hope you're doing great. That's it. I would love to give you my what? I would love to give you my. The question one. What is the O? What is the O? The option. I would like you to what? Yes. Okay. I would like you to suggest. Okay. Lama tak payah tulis. Okay. I would like you to suggest. Okay. Now. Kejap. Okay. Suggest what? What is the task? Task dia apa? Dia nak apa? I would like you. I would like to uh, give you my suggestion. On. On what? Yes, on an ideal. Kenapa thrilling moment? Bukan thrilling moment, okay? Kisah dia, dia nak bagi suggestion about, okay? My, okay, not thrilling moment here. The answer should be here, okay? Suggestion, okay? An ideal island trip for my tukar kepada your, okay? So, sekejap. Dalam ni dah ada. You just see the answer here. Right, suggestion. On an ideal island trip for your family. Ini semua daripada soalan. So, question one. Question one, we ask you about, okay. Is there any hotel, okay. Is there any hotel that you would like to recommend? Okay. Now, dia tanya nama hotel kan? Okay. Then, and then you kena ingat dia punya suggestion dekat island, dekat pulau. So, Okay. To visit a family trip island. Apa ni? Jauh, cuba tengok balik apa yang you tulis. Okay. To visit a family trip island. No, 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 no. Suggestion on ideal island trip. The first one. Right. How to answer that? How to answer the first question? Is there any hotel that you would like to recommend? So, I would love, I would like to, jawab balik soalan dia. I would like to recommend, 
I suggest for you to go to Pangkuk Island in Perak. Saya bagi dulu nak pergi mana. Okay. Then lepas tu. Okay. Saya cadangkan. I would like to recommend Coral Bay Hotel because it is affordable and near the beach. Okay. Alright. So, first one saya bagikan nama pulau. Nama pulau ni, reka lah pulau-pulau apa. Okay. Bayu Island Homestay ni. Alright. Kejap eh. Okay, dia minta hotel. Kenapa kau gatal nak bagi homestay? Tolong jawab soalan. Please be careful. Shelly is not. Shelly is not a hotel. Dia dia minta hotel. So kenapa nak change nama tu menjadi Coral Bay Homestay? Tak payah. Gunakan apa yang dalam soalan. Soalan nak hotel, you bagi hotel. Soalan nak resort, you bagi resort. But now, they ask for recommendation of a hotel. So you just change the name to Coral Bay Hotel. Yeah. Not Hotel Sri Malaysia but Sri Malaysia Hotel. English ya yang ni. Bukan bahasa Melayu. Okay. So, affordable and near the beach. Okay, habis question one. Now question two. Do let me know the activities. Dia nak tahu activities. Mesti bagi more than one sebab ada dua activities ada S ni. Okay. Kalau you bagi satu, markah pun separuh je. Right? You bagi satu, markah pun Right. So, activities dia yang pertama dia buat. Okay. There are many activities prepared by the hotel such as jet skiing, banana boat ride and snorkeling. Okay. Snorkeling. Saya dah bagi dah semua. Alright. Saya dah bagi dah semua. Dah ada dua activities. More than two activities there. And then the last one. What are the things that I need to take along? Benda apa yang nak dibawa? Things. Banyak juga eh. Bukan satu things eh. Dia nak things. More than one. Okay. So, I will give you. Okay. You should take along several swimwear, suitable footwear and a hat to cover yourself from the sun. Saya so, dah bagi dah. Okay. Bawa swimwear, bawa footwear, bawa hat to cover yourself from the sun. Okay. Right? Had to cover yourself from the sun. Okay. Right? And then I tutup dengan I hope that you will like my suggestion. Sebab dekat atas ni minta suggestion. Okay. Atas ni ask for suggestion. This one I would love. Okay. Would like my suggestion a lot. Okay. Enjoy your visit. Nama dia Silen. Dah tulis kat situ Silen. Okay. So, you buat macam ni, you will get your 20 marks easily. Okay. Jawab sahaja soalan. Kepada siapa yang tulis yang, yang just now earlier you mentioned you get 15, 16. Inilah sebab-sebab dia. Yang ni, tak ada, tak payah idiom, tak payah complex. Mungkin ada satu complex sentence but still, okay. But still. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you see me? Yes, okay. Something wrong with my connection just now because it's raining here in my house. It's rekembangan. It's raining heavily. Okay, never mind. Let's get back to this. Okay, Um. Okay. look at this. This is the questions. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want you to look at this question. I want you to look at... Wait. Wait, there's another question here. Uh, 
last year question here. Yeah. This is, sorry, not last year, SPM 2021. Now, look at these questions, okay? As I said, every article need a title. So, what is the most suitable title for this part, for this question? What is the most suitable title here? What is the most suitable title? You are here. Now, can you see uh, my slides now? Okay, so. All right. Chat. What happened to the chat box? Okay, can you can you uh, tell me the title for uh, the most suitable title for this? Most suitable title. Okay. Okay, good. You can't. Okay. okay, okay. That's why something was wrong just now. Okay, okay, okay. Can uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, yeah. Let me. Uh, let me share again. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, I'm sharing. Let me put in slideshow. Okay. All right. Can you see my slide now? Okay. So sorry. Right? I'm so sorry. Some mistake. Okay. Okay, so now let's see. This is 2021 questions. It might look easy, okay, but let's, um, you know, let's look at this. How to answer this question. How to get 20 marks for this, okay. Now, title, as I said, what is the most suitable title for this question? Okay. Way people can show kindness. Okay. Panjang. Why give panjang panjang? Uh, Alicia. Bukan salah ya? Yes. Okay. Kita ni nak cut short the time. Act and act for kindness. Paling simple, kindness saja. Okay. You just write there, kindness. Okay. That's it. Kindness. Uh, yes. Kindness. Okay. So that's the title. Now, for intro. What can you write for the intro? You can say, uh, what? Okay, that's the intro. Dekat class point tak gerak. Hmm, dia dah. Dia dah tak tahu dah kenapa. Dia dah. Awak punya line kot. Yang, yang lain pun tak gerak ke? Can you see your class point apps? Okay, class point tu kan kadang, kadang No, same. Tak gerak. Okay. Uh, why don't you go out kalau you nak download okay why don't you go out then key in balik dia punya apa tu dia punya what you say uh, class code yeah gerak je ada yang gerak Still, for, no for those yang tak gerak your class point go out log out and then uh, come come in again okay baru gerak okay it depend on your line too. You tengok dekat line you juga. Tak apa. Kita, I go on kat dengan yang ni dulu. Dalam nota kan ada. So you can just write there. So for your intro. Intro tak semestinya macam 3, 4 uh, baris. Tak payah panjang. Maybe 2 or 3 lines only. 2 or 3 uh, ayat dah cukup. Okay. Alright. Baru baru cukup. Intro. Uh, sorry. Uh, dah cukup lah. 2 or 3. In, uh, for intro. Okay. And then 2 or 3 baris. Sorry, dua tiga ayat. Tak payah dua tiga baris. Okay, and then body. Dekat body ni isi. Kita tengok. Every time, this question dia akan bagi three point. You must use all the point. Kalau tak guna point ni, markah you akan kurang. Ya, dia akan potong markah. Dekat markah bahasa, dekat markah isi. Ya. So, kena betul-betul. Okay. 
Alright, you want to give the meaning of kindness. Yes, boleh. Tapi jangan panjang ya sebab yang ini you ada 30 minutes saja. 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Boleh. You can write dekat sini dia punya meaning of kindness. Okay. Okay. Meaning of kindness. Kalau you nak bagi. Tapi jangan panjang-panjang. Make it short. Okay. Um, maybe 3, 4 ayat. Then it's enough. Then body. Yang pertama act of kindness that you experience okey apa yang you pernah sini you kena tengok okey soalan betul betul an act of kindness you experience maksudnya bukan you yang berbuat baik you experience yang you alami so ini kena ini kena betul sebab ramai yang confused pada, pada tahun ni dia silap dia dia explain they explain about how they help people know how people help you Okay, an act of kindness that you experience. That's why you have to read the questions carefully. Kita tengok soalan betul-betul. Okay, your experience. Bukan orang punya experience. Bukan you tolong orang. No. Macam mana orang tolong you. Then, the question will be, why must it, why must be kind to others? Kenapa nak kena baik to others? And how to encourage people to be kind? So, the other one, two, three points dekat sini. Okay, and then lastly, then only you can have the conclusion, right? Conclusion. Okay. So, an act of kindness, right? That happens. Satu saja perbuatan. Dia kata an act of kindness means satu. Bukan two acts of kindness, no. Only one act of kindness. All right. Okay. You tengok eh, soalan ni, you tengok yang ni. All right. Then, this is the actual answer. Ini jawapan sebenar um, channel SPM yang mendapat... 20 markah. So you have a look at it. Dalam class point keluar tak? You boleh download yang ni. Contoh jawapan ni. Okay. Dalam class point boleh tengok dapat chat. Masih sama tak gerak kesiannya. Yes. Yes, you can use an example. No problem. Okay. Now, kita tengok kita tengok jawapan yang ada ni. Okay. Oh my God. And you ask for the questions. Saya dah ubah slide ni baru nak minta soalan. Soalan ni saya dah bagikan soalan. And dalam and hours yang dapat, you dapat pun ada. Okay. Mesti organizer dah bagi hand now tadi kan. Mesti dalam tu pun ada soalan ni. Okay. So this is the answer. Penat lah nak, nak transfer balik. Okay yang ni. Okay. Look at the answer. Soalan pertama tadi dia kata an act of kindness that happened to you. Okay. Act of kindness yang you rasa. Okay. Dia letak dekat bawah sekali. Recently. Ni recently. I have experienced act of kindness by a very nice stranger. She Help me retrieve my purse from a drain. Okay. Ini saja act of kindness yang dia, yang dia mention. Cukup. Dah cukup dah. Right. She said her father always gave her advice to be kind when she was little. Okay. Now. Kalau dia tanya saya, kenapa dia tak ikut turutan? Soalan ni yang pertama. Doesn't matter as long as you jawab. But my advice, nasihat saya, you ikutlah turutan yang, turutan soalan. Right. Yang ini tak ikut turutan. Yang ni soalan pertama diletakkan dekat uh, nombor tiga. Tak, doesn't matter. Perangkan ketiga. Tak, tak ada masalah. So, and then ini dia punya opening. Tengok very very short, very brief. Okay. Uh, our world has not been kind this day. Thanks to the social media, users are putting each other down for their amusement. Many people bring this attitude to real life. Okay. Right. Okay. And then, terus perenggan yang pertama. However, it is not what we should normalize. We cannot imagine, I cannot imagine living in a such mean world. There are a lot of reason why we should be kind to others. Okay. Sebab nak menjadi uh, baik kepada others. Why should, why we should be kind. This is number two letak kat sini. One of them is can reduce depressing thought from one, one's mind. Unkindness can do a lot to our mental Health. Okay. Ini dia menjawab soalan number two. Okay. 
Then this is number three. Okay. In addition, kindness can help form a stronger community. If we are less spiteful to one another, we can create such much stronger bond and form a healthy society and form a so a healthy society. Okay, a lot of our country's problem can be solved together. So this is how they answered. Okay, dia tunjukkan dengan jelas dekat situ how they answered the question. Yeah. Okay. So you boleh download yang ni, right? Then because my God, kita dah. I have only eight minutes to show you. Okay, the last the last part, part three. Okay, part three of your question. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Not that, not that, not that. Not that. Okay. Balik yang ni. Okay. Now, as I said, we don't have enough time to explain. I don't have enough time to explain. Oh, I'm so sorry. But today, I'm going to focus on story. Why I choose story? Because this is the easiest questions that you can answer for your SPM. Sebab the fact right all are story so but you have to remember when you are writing a story it must be a in past tense okay it, you must write past tense so just look at last year questions okay sorry 2021 question okay hilang kejap All right. Now, what you have here, okay. Now, before that, let's look at the question. I'm so sorry. The question is next page. Okay. So, this is the question. This is for story, yeah? Story. Okay. Who said, okay, you, someone mentioned here is, okay, what? Next part is something, I'm reading the question. One question, teach and might sound slightly out of topic. Does an AC closely related to an article in a certain way? Oh. Ali, what did you mean by that? Closely related to an article. I do not understand your question. Okay. Please rephrase your questions, okay? Yes, 5W1H. This is how you uh, get your idea, your plot, okay? In writing a story, before you write a story, you must have plot. So you know, oh, mula macam mana, what's the climax, and then what's the ending of your story. So, right. Now, in writing an essay, uh, in writing a story, you should be aware that there are two types of uh, style. The first one is first person point of view means you are involved. You are going to use pronouns like I, okay, me, okay, but the second option will be a third person point of view. Okay, third person point of view means you are not in the story, you are just telling the story. It's going to be he, she, or other characters, not you. But the first person point of view, you will use I. Okay, senang saja macam mana nak pilih. Kalau dekat sini, he or she means you are going to use third person point of view. Okay, third person point of view because you tak payah terlibat pun dalam cerita tu. But kalau digunakan I, then you use I lah, first person point of view. Okay. Format. Format of writing an essay. Okay, you were asking uh, that I can use the format. All right, now, format for article is very simple. You need to have five paragraphs. You need to have title. The first part is intro. The second, third, fourth paragraph will be your content. And then the last one will be your concluding paragraph. That's it. Okay, you must answer the question in paragraph two, three, and four. Okay. You do not have to follow the sequence of questions. You can jumble up, no problem. As long as you answer all the three questions, then you will get your marks. Yeah. For this part, okay, 
this is the first, sorry, the third person point of view. Okay. This is about other people, just like an AC. You have to know, an AC, kalau you buat cerita pun, kita panggil AC. Kalau you terlibat dalam the story, it's still an AC. Right? Third person point of view, you menceritakan. Itu saja. Sudut pandangan berbeza. First, if you are in the story, you akan use I, I, I. So, kalau look at the question. Dalam soalan ni, dia nak third person point of view means you tak ada dalam cerita tu. You are just telling, okay, he, Ali, Abu are doing that doing this. You are telling a story about that person. Yeah, about that particular person. So, before you start writing, you kena buat plot. Macam tadi saya cakap, you need to have find a plot to make things easier. Tadi, Okay, sorry, look at the first one, look at just now, mana tadi hilang lah. Okay, question dia, you, he trudged towards the beach and collapsed. Okay, now, first thing to do is to decide, okay, point of view dah pilih, and then look at the question. Dia mesti akan bagi dua sebab, I mean, dua, two reasons that you need to answer. First, describe, terangkan, okay, the impossible irresponsible act, okay, perbuatan tidak bertanggungjawab, done by the character, okay. Then the second one, effect of the irresponsible act on the characters and others, kesannya kepada diri you dan orang lain, okay. So now let's look at the, the uh, plot, how to come up with a plot, okay, first you need to answer number one, what is the story about, okay, this story is about an alcoholic man and his family. Okay. Right? Okay. You just download this. Okay. Or you can take a snapshot. Kalau you tak boleh masuk dalam class point app, you just ambil gambar saja. And the last one will be okay. See? 5W and 1H. Okay. Five wife, one husband. Okay. How it happened? Okay, the first one, what is the story about? Simple. It's a story about an alcoholic man and his family. So, what happened in the story? Car accident that killed his family. The third one, why it happened? Kenapa berlaku? Kenapa accident berlaku? Because he was driving in anger and he's also drunk. Right? Dia marah, dia juga mabuk. Who involved? The man and his wife. Okay. Untuk karangan ni, 250 patah perkataan, tak payah lebih daripada 3 watak. Okay. Saya suka, saya tahu ada ramai yang buat tiga sampai uh, lapan watak ni. Tak payah. Ringkas sahaja. So, only two or three characters. Right? Oh, okay, Alim. I understand. Okay. You are, you means that the first, the second example, right? Uh, almost the same like Yes, um, part two and part three, article for part three is the same. Article. So, itulah maksud article sama. Soalan dia sama. Dalam part two, article tapi panjang dia sampai max uh, 200, uh, sorry, 150 words only. But for part three, they need more. So, 250 words. Now, I understand your question, Ali. Okay. Alright. So, now look, getting back this and then where and when you kena bagi a uh, situation kat mana at night okay after attending a wedding dinner reception okay and then uh, how it happened and how the story end so he was drunk at the wedding so the wife drove them back while they bought kereta on the way home he woke up and argue with his, his wife Dia terjaga masa dalam kereta, dia bergaduh dengan wife dia. He wanted to drive. Dia nak drive juga. And the accident occurred. Kat sini tak nampak perkataan ni. Occurred. Oh, kat bawah ni. See, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Tak takpelah you just tengok kat sini. Okay. Read this essay. Cuba you baca soal uh, essay yang, ini pelajar yang buat ya.
Okay, this is not my essay. This is, oh uh, yeah, the actual student's essay, as I said just now. Not mine. Okay. Now, do you have time to download this? Okay. Of course, 20. I bagi you contoh yang 20 saja. Okay. Ni semua 20, 20, 20. All the three essays will give you 20 marks. This is a sample. Bukan sample I buat, sample students yang buat. Yang dapat 20 marks for this question. Okay, now, all right, so it's already 10 o'clock, I'm sorry, okay, now any question before we go off, any question, you can, you, you, you can just, uh, you type there, type in the chat column, I'll read the question, no, very good, all right, okay, okay no, very good, okay, so, if you have no question for me, now I really hope that you can learn something. I'm basically pun cukup, especially question one. Yeah, question one is important. You need to get 20 marks. Yeah, okay. Then this is what uh, the sample I give you. This is uh, authentic students writing. Bukan saya buat, they are students writing. Okay, so um, what else I'm going to say? Okay, let me stop sharing first. Okay. Oh, I need to see your face. Okay, right. Okay. So this is the end of my session. Um, I hope you can get something useful. You can use for your SPM. And good luck. Okay, saya halalkan semua ilmu yang saya share. So you uh, you should be able to share with your friends in school. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. That's all from me. Bye, everyone. Have a nice, long weekend. Yeah, I'm sure. Especially for the Indians who are celebrating um, Deepavali. Happy Deepavali. Okay, bye everyone. Thank you. Baiklah, terima kasih diucapkan kepada Cikgu Joana di atas perkongsian teknik menjawab soalan SPM 2023 bagi mata pelajaran Bahasa Inggeris yang cukup jelas pada malam ini. Tidak lupa juga ribuan terima kasih diucapkan kepada murid-murid dan guru-guru SPM 2023 yang mengikuti program kita pada malam ini. Diminta murid-murid untuk mengisi kehadiran, boleh klik pada link yang disediakan atau scan pada QR code yang dipaparkan. Untuk makluman adik-adik semua, Program teknik menjawab soalan SPM 2023 ini akan diteruskan lagi dengan mata pelajaran sejarah pada 17 November, waktu yang sama juga jam 8 hingga 10 malam di platform Zoom dan juga YouTube. Jangan lupa untuk klik link pendaftaran untuk mendaftar. Berita baik juga untuk adik-adik sekalian, pihak YPC International College turut menjalankan program tuition skor A matematik tambahan bersama Seven setiap hari Sabtu jam 8 hingga 9.30 malam. Dan kelas yang seterusnya adalah pada 18 November iaitu pada minggu hadapan. Jadi pada esok hari tiada kelas uh, admit. Jangan lupa untuk subscribe dan like channel YouTube YPC International College untuk mengikuti seminar yang seterusnya. Terima kasih dan selamat malam semua. Jumpa lagi pada program yang akan datang.